Hey everybody, what's up? Harag here, and welcome to Canarium. Or Canarium? I don't really know how to pronounce it in all honesty. Um, back when I was recording like Moons of Madness and Call of Cthulhu, this was one of the games that popped up a lot. Like a lot of people were suggesting if you like Lovecraft games, that this would be one to check out. And it was on sale a while back, and I uh, picked it up, and I kind of forgot about it, but I just happened to go through my games again, and was like, oh wait, look, I never checked this out, so let's check it out together. Um, I already went through the options and made it so, like, you know, silly stuff like subtitles and all that. So, let's jump in, shall we? Very curious. I didn't really look at any videos or anything. I just know people. It, this game popped up a lot, but reviews I read. All life like is it. only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. Mm. That was a weird hiccup. Some inward dreams. Huh? I kind of forgot what like the first half of that sentence was. Oh. 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 What the fuck? Oh, okay, I guess we're playing. Uh. All right. This reminds me of Narcos. Oh wait, was it Narcos? <laughs> I think that's a TV show. I can't remember the name of the game that I played a while back, but it reminds me. Of, uh, the fuck? Did the hallway just change? Excuse me? I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. Such as? Dr. Fass, is that you? Oh, his eyes. Oh no, what did he see? Something burned his eyes. Huh. Hello. Okay, we're here. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Oh. Okay. So it looks like we're in like. Uh, that, that, don't look at that thing. Oh, my head. Ah, uh, the pain. It is unbearable. What do I do? I can't do anything. At last, oh, the pain is subsiding. I thought my head was about to explode. Was it because I looked at that, or like, what the hell caused that? Press the touchpad button to view game controls. Oh, okay. R1 is run. Triangle is inventory. Square is torch. Circles, notes, exit, interact. L1 is crouch. Okay. I can't see anything. Oh, I can barely even read this. Wait, is there a way that will uh, toggle notes a circle? Okay. <clears throat> okay, yeah, it is. Alright, um, uh, let me go. Because that's really hard for me to see. Oops. Actually, need to apply the changes. Do they even make a difference? I don't, what is this? Is it like a pocket watch? Okay. I honestly don't think that made a difference. It's so damn dark in here. I, I can barely even read that. It's still so dark. I, I feel like that made zero difference. I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is. Maybe it's just supposed to be super dark in here. Um, I mean, there's this thing. This device. Its noises are resonating in my mind. Oh, I take this. 
found a torch. Okay. What's this? That looks like a plant of some sort. Okay. Alright, well now I have a now I have a light, that makes things way better. It's still even with turning out the brightness, it's still dark as fuck. Uh oh that's the plant that's in the picture right there. Seed of the Sahiti? Sahiti? I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. It sounds like we're on a boat. Antidolivian shaman shamanism? Wait, that's it? That's all you can just read the cover? Uh... Okay. <laughs> And then we saw that already. What do we got here? Uh, U... 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Expedition Handbook. Okay. I keep thinking when we can read it, it's actually gonna give us some information other than the title. Uh... I guess let's head out of the room. I didn't really see anything. Oh my god, it is so fucking dark. Holy shit. Hello? Oh, Jesus. Anybody here? <laughs> My own voice scared Where me. Where is everybody? I don't know, but it's a... The fuck? What was that noise? I heard another noise. I guess it could just be the ship. Uh, what's in here? Okay, well, it's a medicine cabinet, but nothing for us. Uh... I don't like these noises. There's a note, it looks like. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> uh, what? Auxiliary power needs to be enabled manually from the outside. Oh boy, okay. Oh. Was that open already? That's where we came from, right? That looks creepy as fuck. I don't know what's down that way. Uh. Locked. Okay, the radio Looks room like is we're locked. having a power problem right now. Ooh, it's a ship. Okay, I didn't think there was anything on the bottom, but... Familiar visits in the lower chambers once more in the form of a black cat. Its spectral image echoes throughout the seven rooms. What sin called it out from the hollow, looming dim and ghost-like? What? That was very strangely worded. Okay. What was that sound? There are quite a few options too um, for languages. I was surprised. There's a lot that you can choose. Locked. Okay. So anything with a door like that we can't get into because we need to turn the power on. And they said back there. It's stuck. Locked. That we need to go on the other side. Where was that? I don't know, that's that's my room. Uh, I think it was back here to the left. Yeah, it needs to be done from the outside. Okay, so we need to go upstairs. I assume maybe that's this way. Um, weather notice. Supervisor Nikolai Hansen, due date. Not even in there. Um, explanation. Expected snowstorm. A snowstorm is expected to hit in the next two weeks. It is of utmost importance to take cautionary measures and inform all responsible personnel when going outside. Please be aware that the radio connection between the base and the ship may not be available during this period. Sign. That would suck. Is it the same thing? Oh, this is different. Uh, health notice. Supervisor John DeWitt. Johan DeWitt. I don't know why. I totally didn't even see that A there. Um, attention crew members who are having problems sleeping. Examinations conducted... Regarding in the increase of accidents recently led me to believe that the reasons behind them is a kind of intense cabin fever. Oh, shit. Uh, symptoms of this problem are insomnia, severe headaches, seeing visions or hearing voices. Um, crew members who are suffering from the above symptoms are required to refer to me personally for a through checkup. Oh, shit. Um, and this will be a main topic of general meeting that will be held tomorrow after lunch. 
This issue poses serious problems regarding safety at work, so it must be taken to head of, or taken heed of soberly. Medical prediction. Oh yeah, because these people are on a boat, so I definitely can imagine there's a lot of drinking going on to pass the time. Stop those bloody sessions. Okay. Why is this so fucking watery? I mean, I know we're on a boat, but still. Oh Christ! Scared the hell out of me. Okay, so this is just a loading screen with the stuff that we are. Oh. Okay. Maybe we're not on a boat. All right. I thought we were on a boat. I think that's just like an underground bunker. I'm just following the flags. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Oh, it's cold. I think it was Narcosis is the name cloudy. of the game. <clears throat> All I can remember is the successful establishment of the upper water Antarctic base. And ah. after that, nothing is clear in my mind. Okay, so we are in Antarctica then. Okay. Anything out here? Am I gonna freeze to death? I don't know if they would like put collectibles or how this game works. Nope. Hello. I'm gonna close that shit because it's cold as foot. Oh, here we go. Um, nothing going on there. Maybe there's something else inside. Do I need to like? Ah, there we go. So do I have to stand closer? Okay. The fuck. Dude, I swear, I keep hearing shit behind me. I hate it. Right, let's get this generator out. Push power, right? Wait, do I need to go this side? Does it need fuel? Tank is empty. Of course. This hose was tampered with. Oh shit, it's cut. Hmm. Alright, can we fix it with anything from in here? Oh, I don't think I can push that open. Oh, it's a shock riser too. Hold on. Locked. Hmm. Oh, what's in the toolbox? Okay, we got tape. All right. Uh, I guess we're just gonna tape that shit. All right. Nice. Uh, gas tank right there. Beautiful. I don't know how the gas isn't frozen, but sure. And push. Wait, hold on. Do we need to like push anything to start it or like pull it or no? Oh, because it's connected out here, and then we flip the switch, right? And got it. Nailed it. All right, back to the base. Sparky, I got a trophy. I don't want to close that. Oh, it doesn't freeze in there. Alright. Oh, wait, that's right, I can run. Wait, yeah, I think Narcosis was the name of the game I was thinking of. Now, that was mostly underwater, but that just, like, I get the same vibes from this game. And back inside we go. Oof. My ankle just popped. That was really loud. I don't know if you guys are hear that or not. Whoa, what the fuck are those? The abundance of five-pointed shapes seen in the design of structures we come across cannot be overlooked. In addition, most of the elegant figures adorning the silent or staring silently from above most of the gigantic gateways are reptilian in shape. Oh. We've seen that star already on the top right. We did see that. Okay. Water save. I was wondering. I've been playing a lot of different games lately, so it's like hard to remember between which one saves and which one auto saves. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so those were all green to begin with. I think we should be good to just. Uh, nope. I'm not going near that. I'm scared the fuck out of me, dude. What was that? I don't know, man. Um, should I go that way? This is my room. Um, can we do anything? No, nothing with the stereo. This device, its noises are resonating in my mind. Mm, okay. Alright, well now that there's lights on, I don't really 
need a flashlight when I think about it. Uh, I guess this way? Are we actually gonna follow that thing? I don't wanna. I guess let's follow it. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything back here. So I think it went this way, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. It's locked. There we go. Nikolai Gogol, the portrait. Oh, wait. If his I... coat is just right here, where is he now? Hmm, okay. Locked. So James and C. Lenning have theirs, and then Anderson is locked, or. Hmm. <laughs> locked. Ooh, walkie talkie. Can I take that? Okay. Oh, John. Okay, I've seen a couple of these names so far in some of the stuff that we've done. What are those? Oh, that's got to share. I mean, dude, I thought they were bugs or something. Wow, why do you have so many of those? If his coat is just right here, where is he now? <clears throat> Oops, I was trying to close the door. Uh, Locked. Lock. Locked. Oh jeez, it like lagged from when I was turning, from when I actually clicked the button. Is that a mirror? Oh no, okay. Wait. Now I'm lost. That's where I came from. Came in this way, and then we're going this way. Got it, got it, got it. Can we go here? Nope, wrong button. Oh yeah, that's right, we never did read the documents, did we? Um, no electricity. I found that the Upwa Antarctic Expedition Base has been enveloped in darkness and some of the appliances are not functioning due to the power outages. Why has no one attended to the problem so far? Where is everybody? Oh wait, can I? Oh, you can use the torch while you're reading. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Sorry guys, I'm a little slow today. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, there has to be a better way to do this. I turned brightness up and everything. I'm gonna turn that back down then. Um, I'd better find a crew member. I woke up from a series of blurry nightmares isolated on the inside of these somewhat foreign walls. In one of my pockets, I found an empty notebook in which I'm writing my notes. I can't remember anything other than there should have been others here with me. The names Dr. Faust and Dr. DeWitt are lingering in my mind now. Additionally, trying to delve into deeper thoughts gives me sharp pains in my already throbbing head. I'd better find a crew member and find out what's going on here as soon as possible. Okay. Cool. Alright, well that's nice. Uh, wait, did we... Nope, I hit circle. I keep hitting circle. Okay, so that's another... Oh, excuse me. This is another big hallway. Um, anything smaller we can look at in here? Okay, here we go, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, that's creepy sounds. Hello? I wonder if these are actually pictures of people who worked on the game. Like with their parents or whatever. Oh, what's this? Hansen's notes. Wait, didn't I find one before? Does it tell you what they are? Okay, those are obs observation notes that we found earlier. Okay. Um, let's see. All the participants consumed in the diverse uh, mixture five minutes ago and then entered some kind of altered state of consciousness. All of them were now vaguely mumbling in their sleep, like they're chanting something, but sounds are not conscious. They seem restless. I detect movements in their limbs, and as always, I wonder if it's because something they're actually seeing beyond. Um, so ten minutes later. As always, the device humming and glowing, but this time the atmosphere is different with the previous sessions. Whatever the reasons might be, it feels almost like the fantastic device is signaling something in a code I don't recognize. It's becoming more and more stressful to be alone here in the midst of the cold, dim, and innocence filled room. Okay, I think I did remember reading that. Um, it sounds to me like the intensity of the subject's mumblings is much stronger now. Colors and shades are advancing, or dancing on the walls, and with rhythmic ins and outs of the device, I can hear the wind howling outside. Maybe a snowstorm is approaching, or something even worse. Uh, 7.24 p.m. Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They have drifted beyond my area of expertise and guidance. I can do nothing further except for wish for their safe return. Shit. Okay, and then this was number two of Officer Hansen's journals. Okay. 
Um, these nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions, but now he's holding something in his hand, which I believe could be a lotus flower. We seem to be continuing a grave, serious conversation and again and again, but I still can't remember the contents. During working hours, sometimes I hear his voice throughout the radio. It's not in the form of meaningful, sen meaningful sentences, but more like some kind of unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, for I hate, uh, I hate the very idea of suspension I will probably be facing. Yeah, but shit, dude. This will be one of those times where people are like, "No, you never said anything. I don't, I don't, I never noticed." Ooh, holy shit! I don't know why I'm yelling. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> uh, what's this? It's a butterfly. Okay. Oh, it's a sketchbook. Oh, it's bright. Oh, that's creepy looking though. Uh, one of the composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. It is an open third eye in his forehead and as well as inside his hand, which I think it indicates some kind of state knowing because or state of knowing because allusions to knowledge and elder things recur all the time in almost every base bass relief we have discovered so far. What is that? Bass relief? I don't know what that is, I'll have to look it up. Um, all this leads me to believe that these creatures inhabiting those halls required some kind of knowledge from the elder things. Fable creatures of primal myths. I have a collectible. All right, cool. What do we have here? Oh, it's another photo. I thought it was a map. <laughs> the way it was, the way it was sitting there. Uh, okay, nothing up there. Okay, so we still need to go back that way. But there's still these few rooms that we need to explore. A lot of nothing, huh? Hmm, that's like different people don't run. Oh, what's this? Um, this is Ferguson Notes on His Dreams. It's on the bottom left, how I know what his title says there. Um, oh, I feel like a hiccup. Mm, or a burp, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, somehow I can explore while I'm dreaming my visuals of grandeur. An alien prospect in an unnatural disposition, so vividly expressing the outer extent of the world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed in the artistic skill to describe my visions. All I know is that I'm able to de or all that this became evident after the Canarium sessions had started. Okay, so that has something to do with that orb then, maybe. Hmm. Even though I'm not one of the participants, I'm somehow affected. I feel I'm absorbed while in an unconscious state into the oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. Hmm. Like a dream. What the fuck? Oh, those gloves. Okay, I'm like, yo, my man's hands are on the bed. <laughs> Alright, what about over here? What do we got? What do we got? Hello? Photo of the kid. Ooh, that's a key. Uh, ooh, he used it for his locker. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Nothing else. All right, that was John DeWitt. So let's go back and then check out his locker. Don't know what that is. I think it was this one, yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, secrets. Okay. I've noticed a very curious and dangerous de development within the psychological condition of the whole crew that con or compels me to record this note as an initial diagnosis report. Diagnosis report. I, was, I thought it was diagnostics. <laughs> uh, the problem is especially intense for the three subjects, Dr. Barlow, Dr. Anderson, and Frank Gilman whom I have anticipated closely as the onset of their phys uh, physiological degradation. During the past two nights, the aforementioned subjects awoke, screaming in their beds, thus affected by the de demoralizing and demoralizing all the crew members. When I spoke to them personally, I noticed some serious deviations in their behavior patterns. As time progressed, I noted deep changes in their mental conditions. When really pushed, they clearly stated to behave like something else, or someone else which led me to believe that I was facing some sort of multiple personality disorder, but it's too early to draw any conclusions. Other subjects are not too far from crying their normal personalities, but the difference is, of course, obvious. 
Their conditions are getting worse every day, or day by day, and serious medical examination is needed to be carried out on everybody or displaying such symptoms. I informed Dr. Faust and warned him about the consequences. He looked worried, but nevertheless hasn't mentioned it to me since. With the weather conditions we've been having lately, it seems extremely unlikely that we shall receive professional help from the outside world or will be able to send anybody away for a thorough medical examination, which is the only sane thing to do under these circumstances. These. The circumstances. I thought it said these. Hmm. Okay. So the doctor was doing some information, or doing information? <laughs> it was, uh, they were paying attention to what was going on and noticing that everybody was being a little different. I wonder if it's locked. Oh, shit. Okay. I was wondering if it had something to do with, uh... Locked. Damn, that's locked, too. Mm. Excuse me. Lord, I cannot stop yawning. I am not tired. I don't know why I'm yawning. Um... I think it... I think maybe... Might have something to do with the location we're at. Or maybe the thing that, that, that we had on in the room, possibly? Uh, gee, thanks. There's nothing in there. Um, a note explaining the purpose of this expedition. Well, here we go. Uh, this is Dr. Faust's notes about the purpose of the expedition. I know we're close to what we've been looking for. During the uh, adaptation sessions we had the meeting we had in the meeting, uh, we hold here in the meeting room. I feel a guidance of some sort, something pointing towards the destination we seek. This could mean we are now in sync with the ancient source. The wearable canarium we've been carrying on our left arms connects us to the connects and thus receives sensations from the same ancient source. And sometimes I wonder whether there have been another source or another soul during humanity's relief or relatively brief period of existence who is able to achieve such a feat. Within some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that it be or that the extraterrestrial species, the Elder Thing race, built it after passing through a stage of uh, mechanized life on other planets, but its purpose remains unclear. So we were looking for something here then, and I bet you they found it, and that's why everybody's getting all fucked up. It's stuck. Hmm. We need a crowbar to open that. Hidden plants of great antiquity. I think I've gotten more used to the item or the items, the sounds now. Wait, what's this? Does that do anything? It's stuck. Oh, I was like, can I? Do I? What? Oh, I have to adjust. So are they supposed to be in line with each other? Holy hell, what is happening? <laughs> I'm confused as to what's... Does it just need to be green? So I'm trying to match the size, I think. Oh, oh. It needs to be higher. Oh, we got it. Okay. I don't know what the fuck I just did. I'm just so confused. Oh. What is that? Whoa. Who are you? Um. Uh, I'm I'm Frank, Frank Gilman. Is that so? Who are you? Is there a problem with that? My name is Frank Gilman, 
an anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. Eh? This thing is claiming that it's me. That's absurd. Why? Uh, oh, cool, we get to choose. Okay, uh, you're Frank that, or you're claiming that you're me, Frank Gilman, but you're just a machine. You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman. Oh, he says it? Okay, well then I want to say You're just a machine. It. And you are just air. Excuse me? Air? What do you mean by that? It doesn't answer me. Okay, well, what about this? Where is everybody? They are here. I don't. Uh, yeah, like I, I haven't seen anyone. Well, we still haven't been. There's still spots we haven't been to. I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? Yes. Hmm. Okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the Canarinauts. Canarinauts? So Canarium. Okay. Canarinaut? Canarinaut? Voyagers Beyond. Okay. Beyond? What beyond? No answer. So then he must know about the thing they're talking about in the letters then. What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the Grand Mastermind, and the pioneer of this expedition. Oh. Okay, I found the secret then. Uh, this is up. What the fuck was that? That sound was. Oh, what's this? It's a map. Oh wait, there's something we can read. After a haphazard momentarily eh, momentary aerial exploration of the unholy, utterly alien cyc uh, cyclopean maze of square, curved, and angled blocks, we could detect most of the locations revealed by the previous Miskatonic University expedition leader, the Professor Emer Emeritus William Dyer. But what we are looking for is not there. Instead, the haunted sh uh, the sh Shogoth ruins? Um, according to various sources, it should be in a much older ruins beyond the Elder City, right on the edge of the mountain beyond the Mountains of Madness. It was built over a location deeply shunned even by the Elder Things and built long before the colossal city Dr. Dyer and his team explored. Now we set foot upon lands that no one has ever seen before, a vast mass of dry land around the South Pole which rose from the primal waters and when the old ones stepped down from the stars, a place so evil, most of the arcane sources hesitated to record it at all, while some of the murals on the Elder City depicted it with the obvious repugnance of the trepidation. Damn, that's a lot of fucking words. <clears throat> okay, what's this? So it seems like everybody, dude, you ever like read a document in a game and then when it like, goes away you see the lines between the, the words? Holy hell, that's so weird. All right, um, can we get this thing working again? I don't really want to talk to it, but that thing was fucking creepy. I did not like it. Okay, um, I think with that being said, there's nothing else in here, I don't think. Locked. Okay. Wait, are we on the other side? Now that I think about it. Locked. Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. Hmm. Well, we could always check my locker, maybe? Oh, no, this is too far back. Uh, I think our locker... Yeah, here we go. Do I not have a locker? Mm. 
That's weird. This one's like completely blocked. Like you can't even get to it at all. All right. Well, never mind. Yeah, because I didn't think we. Okay. Weird. Wait. What the? Oh, never mind. Okay. I was like, wait, I thought we came through that door. Um, okay, so... My door is locked. James' door is locked. Dr. Faust's door is locked. Oh, wait, hold on. Isn't... Well, what room did I wake up in? I guess I need to find another key, then. That's where I started, right? Okay, what's... What's this side? The infirmary. Infirmary? It's stuck. Okay. I was gonna say, I was like, is that another flashlight for me to grab? The canteen. Oh, it smells awful in here. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's been a while since anybody's been back here. It's stuck. Uh, what's the point of letting me in here? I can't even do anything. Just read a bomb at the nasty food. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, I didn't do anything with those. I feel like I could open them, but I haven't found anything in the single one yet. take an elevator yet because I feel like there's still more to explore. I wish we had a map. Locked. Uh, back this way? There we go. Into the infirmary. Hello? Uh, Dr. Witt's medical records too. I can't seem to find the first one of any of these. <laughs> All the members awakened without any problem, except for Frank Gilman, which is me. All of a sudden, his heart ceased to beating around 1.45 a.m. He was extremely cold and there was no detectable pulse. While I was preparing to perform cardiac compre uh, compression, he momentarily opened his eyes. I'm unsure how much time passed since his heart failed to beat, but it can't have been more than five minutes. And then came the event that shook us all. The cause was the very words that Frank uttered or wait, the cause was the very er words that Frank uttered directly to Dr. Faust right after he awakened. I don't know how to explain it because his voice is muffled and almost indescribable or indiscernible, but I am convinced that the voice I heard did not belong to Frank. As a medical doctor, I can say that this is not completely impossible for someone in his condition, but there was something wrong with what I heard. It sounded that no human vocal cords could produce. Uh oh, I'm not here making some guttural noises apparently. Uh, looks like, uh, on psychoactive plants. Oh, that's right! We saw the one thing of a plant, too. Hmm. Hmm. They caused some people to hallucinate on purpose? What do we got here? Um, Apua. Antarctic Expedition Statement of Consent. By sending this document, you're agreeing to the terms written below. False statements made knowingly or willingly, including affidavits or other supporting documents submitting there within may be punishable. I hereby, I hereby declare that I consent to perform my daily duties to the best of my ability, listen to the judgment of the exp uh, expedition leader, Dr. Faust, and participate in a series of medical sessions as needed in the Upwa Antarctic, Antarctic base. The risk of participating in the aforementioned medical base or medical sessions have fully explained to me. Any questions I have regarding the procedure, why it is necessary, its benefits and risks have been answered to my satisfaction. Therefore, I give my informed consent to the performance of the procedure by signing the statement of consent. Gotcha. Well, there's nobody in there anymore, so hopefully they survived whatever it was they consented to. That's, that's my hope. Another door. I'm gonna get fucking lost in this place, man. Wait. That's where we came. Ah, okay. That's where we came out of. There was nowhere else to. Ah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already did all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess next would be this way. 
check out the radio room. Going upstairs. Into the radio room. Got some binocs. Can we do anything with the radio? This is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequod, please come in. I repeat, this is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequod, do you hear me? There is someone who can hear me. Please, come in. Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? Like a tape recorder? That's cool. Oh, hey, I found Hanson's news number one. For a while, my nights have been plagued by bizarre nightmares, wherein I have been talking to an uns unsubstantial figure. While I wake up every morning, I fail to remember either his visage or content of the dialogue, only its silhouette, or his silhouette, taking in the somber tone. These nightmares keep me from sleeping comfortably, the kind of sleep I am longing for. I've mentioned that I haven't mentioned this to anybody yet, but I am feeling the constant urge to do so if my well-being is in the balance. It could be the most logical to consult with Dr. D, Dr. DeWitt about this. For some reason, I thought it just said Dr. D, and then it said another word. I was like, wait, what? Okay, so he'd actually already considered talking to the doctor then. Interesting. And there wasn't anything on the last one? No. Okay, nothing there. Got those. Ooh, camera. That's an old school camera. We can't do nothing with that. Oh, Morse code. Oh, shit. I might need that. I wonder if I need that for um, back where the mask thing was. Or mask, I mean the whatever. Alright, so that's reports of the snowstorm. And this must be where we're at. Okay. Alright, cool. Awesome. Alright, friends. Well, I think we'll go ahead and stop here. This seems like a pretty decent spot. Um, this is fun. I like exploring and trying to figure out what's going on versus everything just kind of like happening right there and like you already know you're like oh shit we're in the shit um this is kind of like more of a we don't know what's happening we're just trying to figure out what's going on around us and doing some detective work oh there's some uh oh those are outlets okay i thought i saw symbols but yeah i'm very curious to see i actually want to get out of here that stack's kind of annoying um i'm very curious to see what else we're gonna find here are we actually gonna find other people because i was not expecting to find that fucking mask statue thing that was weird as hell um, and it seems to be a little more in the future-esque than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a little more old school for some reason. But judging by... Oops, not that thing. Uh, by that thing. The Canarium thing. That might, uh... Might have something to do with the technology we're dealing with here. But yeah, I'm very curious to see. Because it seems like maybe we aren't who we think we are? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out some more in the next episode. A lot more reading, I'm sure. Which is totally okay, because I need to practice, clearly. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. If you want to check out any of my other series or any other games that I played, you can go ahead and check the links in the description. There's plenty down there. And if you guys would like to subscribe yet and you haven't yet, I would be happy to have you here. It would be very awesome. I'd appreciate some more people along the journey that I can share this with. And if you want to follow me on any of the other social media platforms that I post on and see any of the other stuff that I do, those are also in the links in the description. Thank you guys so much for the support. Have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next episode.